Hi, what I'd like to show you in this video is an example of a thing I've been working on. So some of you may know I'm working on a guitar library, I've been posting some bits about it. And one thing I've developed in the course of um, working on that project is a little script that can identify chords that you play. So if you play a triad, it'll pop up and tell you what triad you're playing. Now it's not a super complicated script, in fact it's that, that's pretty much it. And then we have a chord dictionary. So this works on a lookup principle, so we have a dictionary full of chords and it tries to find a match based on what you're playing. There are other ways to do this um, using um, a lot of recursion basically to try and match the rules of music to the notes that are being played, but that's more complicated and not as suited to a real-time script. Um, and I, even this one I wouldn't use in real time because it uses a lot of loops. But anyway, let me show you how it works. So you can see the keyboard on the screen here, and I'm just going to play a chord there, and it identifies it as C major. I'll play a different inversion, and it'll still say C major, and another inversion, and it'll say C major for all of them. So it's got quite a good selection of chords in the dictionary so far. Now there's one it can't identify. You get the idea, it's uh, a chord detector. I don't think I'm actually gonna use this in my project. Uh, I've decided to do it a different way where I'm not going to display the name of the chords, but I figured it would be a useful thing to keep around. So I've made it into a separate little module. Uh, it doesn't have this interface, it just outputs the name to the console, but the interface is very simple to make anyway. Um, so this is uh, a little module, it's now in my scripting framework, and by the time you watch this video, I'll have posted that to GitHub. Like most of the other modules in my framework, it's licensed under the GNU GPL uh, license. So if you are going to use it in your uh, project, just make sure that the um, license is compatible with the license you're using for your project. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.